soy? Soy Ada Mamari. I love me. Tengo. Tengo un, una madre española, tengo un padre marroquí. Y mi cultura es mixta. Mi cultura, mi cultura es mixta. Mixta. Así que dejar. Así que dejar. Mm. Mis, cinco, mis cinco amigos. Expliqué. Eh, expliqué. La cosa. Eh, la, la cultura. La cultura de, 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 pa. de papá y, ba, y mamá. If we want to talk about language, it is necessary to shed the light on the difference between Hispanic, Spanish and Latino. So Hispanic is a term that refers to Spanish-speaking origin or ancestry. It is based on whether you or your family speak the language of Spanish. Latino is a more frequently used term which refers to origin or ancestry to Latin America. It is focusing more on geographic location that be in Latin America. Latino includes Brazilian, unlike Hispanic. And Spanish is a term of nationality, but it's also a language. And because Morocco was colonized by Spain, we have some Spanish words in our language, such as these ones. So first, we are going to talk about family values. Traditionally, the Hispanic family is a close-knit group and the most important social unit. The term familia usually goes beyond the nuclear family. The Hispanic family unit includes not only parents and children, but also extended family. In most Hispanic families, the father is the head of the family and the mother is responsible for the home. Individuals within a family have a moral responsibility to add other members of the family experiencing financial problems, unemployment, poor health conditions, and other life issues. Family ties are very strong. When someone travels to another town or city to study or for a short visit, for example vacation, business or medical reasons, staying with relatives or even with friends of relatives is a common practice. Families often gather together to celebrate holidays, birthdays, baptisms, first communions, graduations and weddings. Hispanic families instill in their children the importance of honor, good manners, and respect for authority and the elderly. Preserving the Spanish language within the family is a common practice in most Hispanic homes. Just like Moroccan dancing culture, the world of Hispanic dance can be somewhat ambiguous and perplexing, and we get it. That's why we've put together this sanctioned breakdown of styles in the gender and how they differ. Salsa Said to have originated in the Caribbean, salsa is one of the most entertaining and practiced social dances in the world today. There are multiple subcategories within the gender of salsa. Merengue The dance and music of merengue originated in the Dominican Republic. Although the music is fast-paced, the basic steps are fairly easy to master. Flamenco, undoubtedly one of the most famous culture exports from Spain. Flamenco is in fact so much more than just a dance. It's an art from recognized as part of the masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity by UNESCO. It emerged among the gypsy communities of Andalusia and it's performed by a mixture of singing, guitar playing, dancing, finger snapping and hand clapping. Moving to food sector, the diversity of Hispanic cuisine comes from different parts of the world, from the Caribbean to the northern and southern South America, and from Mexico to Central America and Spain. While exotic spices, herbs, and condiments donate the overall perception of Hispanic food, the build in its unique taste varies from country to country. Most people in the United States wrongly assume that Hispanic cuisine equals Mexican cuisine, but that is far from the truth. Hispanic food cuisine is quite broad. Hola, buenos días. Soy Elena. Soy una española que vive aquí en Marruecos. Estoy casada con un marroquí. Y bueno, comentaros que la, la semejanza que veo entre las dos culturas es la hospitalidad. Encuentro que la familia marroquí acoge muy bien al invitado, acoge muy bien al extranjero y 
y es como que, que te arropan. Y eso lo encuentro en común, sobre todo en, en la región donde yo vivo, que es Andalucía, yo soy del sur de España. Y que más comentaros, porque por lo demás es total, somos totalmente diferentes, es una cultura muy diferente, religiones diferentes, por lo que conllevan a unas costumbres también muy diferentes. Y eh, nada, no sé qué, qué más deciros. Bueno, sí, también tenemos en común que al celebrar las fiestas eh, es muy familiar. También allí celebramos lo, los días el eight como lo llaman aquí. Etiquette. Spanish speakers tend toward formality in their treatments of one another. A firm handshake is a common practice between people as greeting and for leave taking. A hug and a light kiss on a cheek are also common greeting practices between women and men and women who are close, friends or family. The Spanish language provides forms of formal and non-formal address. Polite and familiar commands, the use of titles of respect before people's first name, such as Don or Donna, are all examples that prove the, the formal forms of uh, address. In non-formal settings, conversations between Spanish speakers are usually loud, fast, and adorned with animated gestures and body language to better convey points. Hispanics usually give great importance to and place great value on looks and appearance as a sense of honor, dignity, and pride. Formal attire is commonly worn by Hispanics to church, parties, social gatherings, and work. Tennis shoes and jeans, however, are becoming more popular among Hispanic women, particularly in non-formal settings. Hispanics tend to be more relaxed and flexible about time and punctuality than United States people. For instance, people who are invited for an 8 a.m. event may not begin to arrive until 8.30 a.m. or later. Hispanics tend to be reserved about public speaking because of their heavy foreign accents. And now moving on to teaching and learning implications. To fully engage Hispanic audiences in the learning process, particular attention should be given to gaining and maintaining trust. Greater acceptance of educational efforts will occur by learners if Hispanic community leaders are involved in the planning, delivery, and evaluation of these educational efforts. Teachers need to pay individual attention to learners, for example, greeting each learner, handing papers to each individual rather than passing them down the row, being sensitive to different cultures among Hispanics, writing educational material, materials as appropriate reading levels are all examples. Differences in educational levels, language skills, income levels, and cultural values among Hispanics need to be considered by extension educators when planning educational programs. Even though Hispanics share the same language, their, culture, their cultures may vary considerably. Churches, local libraries, and recreational centers may be appropriate places to hold educational programs with Hispanic audiences. Among Hispanics, information is passed mostly by word of mouth. When it comes to celebrities and public figures, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that the Hispanic culture has given the world a bunch of successful people that shone on many domains. Pablo Picasso. He was one of the greatest artists of the 20th century, famous for so many paintings and for the art movement known as Cubism. He was not only a painter, but also a sculptor, printmaker, ceramicist, and stage designer. Rafael Nadal Pereira, known as Rafa Nadal, is a Spanish tennis player who emerged in the, in the early 21st century as one of the game's leading competitors. He has won a record of 12 French Open singles titles and ranked second all-time in the men's game with 19 Grand Slam titles. He is currently ranked world number one in men's singles tennis by the ATP. Association of Tennis Professionals, Ernesto Guevara de la Serna, or as we all know him, Che Guevara, is theoretician and tactician of guerrilla warfare, 
prominent communist figure in the Cuban Revolution and guerrilla leader in South America. After his execution by the Bolivian army, he was regarded as a martyred hero by generations of leftists worldwide, and his image became an icon of leftist radicalism and anti-imperialism. Hispanics come from a collectivistic culture where group activities are dominant and responsibility is shared. In the Hispanic society, family or group needs take precedence over the needs of the individual. Hispanics tend to be brought up to be cooperative, where other cultures tend to be more competitive and individualistic. When Hispanic students, for example, work in a group, not all are expected to do their equal share. A group member who does not happen to be working will not be offensive. The cooperative tendency of Hispanics can also be seen in sharing material objects and information. Sharing also means helping another student during a test. For most Hispanics, present time has more value than the future. Hispanics focus more on present needs and little change. Therefore, it would be more appropriate to expect Hispanic students to concentrate on short-term goals rather than long-term ones. Hispanics are more likely to accommodate the passage of time to their needs rather than to let them control them. On the other hand, the communication style of Hispanics is much more formal than that of the Anglos. Respect is highly valued and shown by using formal titles. Hispanics tend to show affection through touching friends. They can kiss, males hug, shake hands or pat each other on the back. Another important point, Hispanics have a very special way with children, a way that appears to be too permissive. It is very common to see small children in church running toward the altar and there sitting down during a service. One hardly sees Hispanics spanking their children in public. When parents are annoyed, they tend to address their children with usted. Also, the other children of the family are expected to take care of the younger ones. But nevertheless, the child is generally brought up to be very dependent on the parents, which affects the child's decision-making. In the traditional family, the child will have a strong sense of identity with his family, community, and ethnic group.